Blockbusters with your host, Simon Mayo. Hello and welcome again to Blockbusters, seeing as we're so far into this series, it's hardly worth me telling you that this is the show where two play against one and try to make their way across the Blockbusters board by answering general knowledge questions. Because you know it already. Currently playing are Neil, a pilot from Hampshire, against Fiona and James, our lovebirds from Manchester. <laughs> when last we met, Fiona and James were one game up and one hexagon away from their fourth gold run. Neil has to block them to stay in the game. They've been on tenterhooks since the end of the last show, waiting for the next question. We'll not keep them waiting any longer. So let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Fiona and James, it's your choice. Where do you want to go? Uh, we'd like an F, please, Simon. I've had a long time to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> and you still want the F. Yeah. <laughs> OK. What F develops from a legless, aquatic... Neil. Frog. Lava with a tail to a four-legged, air-breathing amphibian with no tail. Frog is right. <laughs> well done, Neil. It's been worth you coming back already. Because <laughs> you've got another hexagon, but it is still a flashing blue board, so you do have to be careful. I'll take the U, please, Simon. What U can a highly nervous person become, perhaps describing a badly hung door that has lost James? Unhinged. One or more of its supports. Unhinged is right, yes. <laughs> it's another flashing blue board still there. So, uh, another interesting selection. I think we know where you're going to go. May we have the P, please, Simon? What P is no more? It has ceased... <laughs> James. Parrots. I was just getting through <laughs> my impression. Sorry. It has ceased to be. It's expired and gone to meet its maker, according to Monty Python. Parrot is the right answer. Well done. And that is Blockbusters. <laughs> Oh. Well done <laughs> to Fiona and James. Neil, I kind of think it was worth you coming back. It was because indeed. Because you got another hexagon, you know, <laughs> and it, may, it does make all that difference, that extra fiver. I mean, think what you can, think what you can do. It's, a, <laughs> it's another couple of drinks, perhaps? It is, maybe, if you're feeling generous. It's been great having you on the show, of course, Neil. You don't go away empty-handed because you take away our brand-new consolation prize, which is one of these. Go digital and read all of your favourite books on the move with your Blockbusters e-book, courtesy of LMX. And, of course, Neil, you take away uh, the £40 that you've just won. Would have been 35 yesterday. That's no good. 40 sounds a whole lot better. <laughs> it does indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Neil, for playing Blockbusters. Thank you. <laughs> so, Fiona and James, it's time for another gold run. Fiona, we all know how much you hate doing the gold run. <laughs> <laughs> and we know that James is a gentleman, and if he could, he would volunteer to take your place. Of course. Of course. Of course. But the rules say, tough luck, James. That's <laughs> yeah. what they say. That's a phrase. <laughs> tough luck, Fiona. Uh, your advice, James? Uh, just do your best, my love. I know you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, I said <laughs> advice, not sort of lovey-dovey stuff. <laughs> well, you know... We're sickening. Do... Answer all the questions. Correctly. Yeah, answer all the questions correctly. <laughs> what better advice could you want? Are you ready to go, Fiona? Ish. <laughs> OK, put yourself on the hot spot, please. Thank you. OK, Fiona, the fourth gold run board. You have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you win the fourth gold run prize. You can pass, as you know, on any question, and your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. TFF. Enid Blyton's well-known quintet. The famous five. Yes. P-A-N. Tingling sensation of toes or fingers. Pins and needles. Yes. M-P. A ruined Incan city that's a popular tourist destination in Peru. Machu Picchu. Yes. T-H. French striker with a statue. Thierry Henry. Correct. T-F. Payment required from students who want to learn. Tuition fees. Is the right answer. <laughs> It. You scorched it. This is what you want. 
After your fourth gold run, you've really bagged yourself a beauty of a prize. We're sending you and five of your friends for a week-long holiday to a luxury five-star resort in Cornwall. Staying at the gorgeous Gwellan Moor Resort, you and your party will be able to split your time between the spa treatments on offer, the wildlife on show, hitting the famous surf, or simply lounging on the sun deck. A week's break here, and you'll definitely not want to ride the wave back to normality. What do you think? Simple as that, isn't it? Yeah, that you, pissed, you <laughs> scorched your way across. You didn't stop. You did, look, 37 seconds left. <laughs> How easy is the gold run? Easy, darling. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you do it. Don't hang around. Hey, and that's a terrific prize. And when you're in Cornwall, you and your Gilbert and Sullivan friends, you could put on a little Pirates of Penzance and that's going to be some show, isn't it? I think that's a plan. <laughs> anyway, look, congratulations. There may well be another one for your team. Who knows? Fiona, thank you very much indeed. Well done. And back to your seat. Thank you. As a delighted Fiona then returns to her bow, James. Let's meet the next contestants. Going to try and stop them getting to their fifth and final gold run. Please welcome Gary from Norwich. <laughs> All right, Gary. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? You're very welcome to the show. Hello, Simon. You're right. Be, very good, thank you. It's going to be a tough contest, I think. Oh yeah, but I'm ready to bring the thunder. Excellent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a bit of thunder required. Uh, you're a physiotherapist. I so. am indeed. And yes. Where do you do your physio work? I work in a clinic called the Jefford Centre in Norwich, and also work with Norwich Rugby Club. Who I would imagine need, a, just by the very nature of their sport, need an awful lot of your tweaking and thumping. Indeed, they do. Indeed, they do. I quite regularly get my elbows into them. Well, do you think you've got what it takes? to beat our champions. Well, I hope so. I hope so. They're pretty tough. They, they seem pretty good. But I'll, I'll see what I can do. As I said, I'll, I'll try and give them my best shot. All right, that's what we like to hear. Best of three, Gary, as you know. OK. You're playing our champions who are still kissing each other, so if you can <laughs> desist for another couple of minutes, uh, we'll bring you our next board. OK, we have a flashing B. We're going to start there. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> It's Gary playing Fiona and James. What B in aviation is to fly very close to another plane and is the first name of Toy Story's Lightyear? Gary. Buzz. Buzz is the right answer. Well done. You're on the board. A white hexagon. Uh, I would love a T, please, Simon. OK. What T is a written way of keeping in touch using a mobile phone? James. Text messaging. Text or texting, yes. We'll give you that. <laughs> Blue hexagon, you're on the board as well. Uh, maybe with an S, please, Simon. What S is a child's plaything with wheels and a bespectacled Muppet character? James. Scooter? Scooter is the right answer, yes, very good. Uh, Where next? May you have an A, please, Simon. What A is an extreme greed for riches? James? Avarice. Avarice is right, yes. An ominous three blue hexagons there in the middle of the board, Gary. So, James and Fiona. May we have an O, please, Simon? What O is a dentist who specialises in... Gary. Orthodontist. In correcting crooked teeth. Orthodontist is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> a nicely placed white hexagon for you, Indeed, Gary. Indeed, very yes. good. Where would you like next? I would like an F, please, Simon. What F goes before... Refusal, knight, aid, and name. James. First. First is the right answer, yes. May we have a P, please, Simon? What P is to be indulged and spoiled? Fiona. Pampered. At a health and beauty spa like what you've got loads of. <laughs> Pampered is the right answer, yes. <laughs> I mean, they're speeding up. It's a flashing blue board already. Gary, you're going to have to move very oh, yeah, fast to beat these guys. Oh, and it's their oh, choice. Can we have an R, please? What R is a ticket lottery for a chance to win James? Raffle. To win prize goods, raffle's the right answer. That's Blockbusters. Yeah. 
Yeah. Lightning fast, fast again, Fiona and James. Gary, you now have a feeling as to how fast you're going to have yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're a bit of a Blockbusters fan, cos when you make presentations, you always end with a game of Blockbusters, is that right? I did, yes. When I was, when I was studying physio um, back at uni, I, uh, I, we always had to do our own lectures, and every, every lecture, most people start finish with a quiz, and I decided to uh, finish with a Blockbusters quiz, so I made up my own little Blockbusters quiz on paint and uh, got people to answer, answer the questions on, like, nerves and muscles and things, and did it. Yeah. You've got £10, but we'll take that back in royalties, cos you owe us, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just on the copyright, but... Uh... OK, Gary, this is the game that you have to win. Best of three, and uh, it's Fiona and James against Gary. Here's our next board. It's a flashing bee. We're going to start there. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> What B is the elasticated rope that enables you to jump... James. Bungee. ...off a high bridge and bounce back just before hitting the bottom? Bungee's the right answer. Well done, James. <laughs> so, Fiona and James are off again. Gary's going to have to get in there quick to try and stop them from getting to a fifth gold run. Join us after the break to see how he does. See you then. Welcome back to Blockbusters, where new contender Gary is one game down against the mighty Fiona and James. Fiona and James, your choice of letter next. Where to? May we have an M, please, Simon? What M is French for a collection of exhibited wild animals? <laughs> Gary. Museum. Knows the wrong answer. I'll repeat it for Fiona and James. What M is French for a collection of exhibited wild animals? Fiona. Menagerie. Menagerie is what I wanted, yes. <laughs> Uh, please, may we have an A? What A goes after Wellington, Admiralty and Marble for the name of three landmarks in London? James? Arch. Arch is right, yes. <laughs> now, Gary, we've got three blue hexagons on there. Yes. And you need to get some whites. I do. If you could give me some questions, I know that would be fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what's coming up at all. <laughs> you choose the letters, I'll give you the yeah, questions. Yeah, it's all good. It is the luck of the draw, of course. Where to next? Fiona and James. May we have a G, please, Simon? What G is an imaginary creature blamed for faults in machinery? Fiona. Gremlin. Gremlin is right, yes. <laughs> With a flashing blue board, Fiona and James choose their next hexagon. Um, please may we have an S. What S is cockaleeky, a food from Scotland? James. A soup. Soup is right, and that is yes! Blockbusters. <laughs> Gary, it was your misfortune to come up against Fiona and James. I mean, they're in full steam ahead mode. I did. I knew those ones as well, and I was just too slow. I know. Well, that's the thing that they've been getting all the way through. They've just been faster mm. than everybody else. I'm sure the guys at Norwich Rugby, they won't mention it at all. They'll just let it pass. I'm sure they it will. Won't, it won't get mentioned. <laughs> they might want to borrow your uh, consolation prize, the e-reader, which you go well away be. with, and, of course, a magnificent £10 <laughs> uh, to spend a on little, whatever. A little victory sip. Yeah, on a cushion or something like that. Uh, Gary, it's been nice having you on the show. Appreciate you coming down. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. OK, Fiona and James, this is it, your fifth and final gold run with, a, you know, hopefully a monster prize at the other end, and it's your turn, James. Now, not only is there the pressure of the fifth gold run, which is enough in itself, but the fact that Fiona did her gold run in 23 seconds, which is one of the fastest that we've had on the series, mm. means that there's a little bit of one-upmanship there. I, I've always known she was the clever one, so <laughs> <laughs> it'll be no, no shame coming second to her. However, there are no prizes for being faster than 23 mm. seconds. All you have to do is 60 seconds. True, very true. Are you feeling confident? No, but I'll give it a go anyway. So, James, for the fifth and final time, put yourself on the hot spot. <laughs> James, everyone's cheering for you. Fifth gold run board is there. You have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win the fifth gold run prize. You can pass on any question, and as you know, your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. 
Uh, may I have a, a DW, please? Matt Lucas's partner, professionally speaking. David Williams. Yes. CE. DJ and presenter who replaced Chris Terry Evans. Wogan. Yes. CP. Same sex unions introduced Civil in the UK. Civil partnership. Yes. EW. Actress best known for playing Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films. Emma Watson. Yes. NYR. Easily made every 12 New months. New Year's resolution. Is the right yes! answer. Yes! Yes! This is what you won. Congratulations on completing your fifth gold run. Grab your sombrero and your suntan lotion as you're off to Mexico. Courtesy of IceLolly.com, you've just won an all-inclusive five-star holiday for two to this Latin American paradise. You'll have a whole week to soak up all this gorgeous country has to offer, whether it's relaxing on the beautiful beaches, sailing on the crystal blue seas, or taking in all the historical monuments. You're guaranteed to have the time of your life with this marvelous Mexican prize. Well done, James. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done, Fiona. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Stunned, just <laughs> amazed, absolutely amazed. You're going to get bored of all this pampering that's coming yeah. your way, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a hard Gosh, life, but yeah. someone's got to win it's it. It's a nice dilemma to have. <laughs> hey, and there are no bragging rights because you've both done two extraordinary gold runs. Gold run four and gold run five were both magnificent. So you take away that amazing holiday in Mexico. Don't forget, you've already got the weekend break at a spa in Northumberland, a week's holiday for six in Cornwall, with all your Gilbert and Sullivan friends, <laughs> the Blockbusters e-readers and the small matter of £390 each to spend. Yes! <laughs> well, I hope you've had a good time on the oh, show. It's been amazing. Yeah. It's been absolutely amazing. It's Thank been you great so having you on. Fiona, James, congratulations. Thanks for playing Blockbusters. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And with Fiona and James then heading off to the Tequila Sunrise, let's welcome three all-new players to all-new blockbusters who hope to go just as far. Please welcome TJ from London and Faye and Emma from Liverpool and Amar. Yeah. <laughs> TJ, hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank Faye, you. Faye, Emma, welcome to Blockbusters. Yeah, thank you. Emma, Hi. Faye, meet TJ. TJ, nice meet... Nice to meet you. Emma. Good So, TJ... Yep. ..is short for...? It's Thomas James. But you don't really want to be called Thomas no, James, do you? No. How long have you been TJ for? Um, since I was born, I think uh, my, my dad wanted me to be called TJ, as in T-W-E-J-A-Y, and uh, my mum wanted to name me after Tom Jones. So... <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, not the proudest moment, but... Um, so I've always been known as TJ, unless they're angry at me, and then it's... Uh, Hi, shrill Thomas. OK, all right, well, we'll uh, hopefully we'll not have to call you Thomas at all throughout the whole game. TJ will do. TJ, what do you do? Uh, I'm a salesman, a media salesman. And you're engaged to be married? I am indeed. Assuming you're not a total embarrassment on the show? Um, yeah, depending on how well I do, <laughs> depends on whether she's going to still be there at the end of the day. Uh, TJ, wish you all the best. Uh, Faye and Emma, yeah. you're both training to be primary school teachers? Yes, yes, we are. And how long have you been training for? Four years. So we're just coming up to the end of our final year now. Has it all been worth it? Definitely. Are you looking forward to your first class? Yeah, can't, can't wait. wait. We were just thinking backstage we're going to make blockbusters. We got we stole it from uh, from Gary. <laughs> we're going to do primary school blockbusters. Make a blockbusters game for our class. <laughs> yeah, you'll owe us money the same as he. Yeah. Does. <laughs> well, obviously no giggling or messing around. Or I'll have to split you up. We'll try not okay. to. <laughs> we'll try not to. Yeah. TJ, Faye, and Emma wish you all the best. It's the best Thank of three, you. and we'll move on because here is our next board. It's a flashing L. Top left, that's where we're going to start, so let's play Blockbusters. It's TJ against Faye and Emma. What L is the name that links the singer, Mr Kravitz, with Mr Faye? Lenny. With Mr Henry, the comedian and actor, Lenny is the right answer. Well done, Faye. Blue hexagon on the board already. Uh, J, please, Simon. What J is applied to anything very large, especially an elephant? Faye again. Jumbo. Jumbo is what I wanted, yes. Can I have a P, please, Simon? There you go. <laughs> what P shapes and beautifies the feet as a manicure, Emma? Pedicure. As a manicure does the hands, pedicure is right, yes. <laughs> Thomas James. 
Oh. Come on, it's three blue and no white. Uh, let's see what happens next, Faye and Emma. Can we have an F, please, Simon? What F is a South Pacific island nation? TJ. Fiji. That has Suva as its capital and an international rugby team. Fiji is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> you have one white hexagon there. I've got one. That's one step further for the Everything wedding. Everything is fine from now. Yep. Where would you like to go next? Uh, can I have an M, please, Simon? What M is the Spanish word for tomorrow? <laughs> TJ. Uh, Mayana. No, that's not the right answer. Faye and Emma. What M is the Spanish word for tomorrow? <laughs> yes, Faye. Manana. Manana is right. You were very close to J, but manana is what I wanted. <laughs> and Faye and Emma choose. Can I have a D, please, Simon? What D is slang for money used in bread making? TJ. Dough. And goes before balls. Dough, absolutely, is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Another white hexagon is there. Where next, TJ? Uh, can I have an O, please, Simon? What O is Latin, meaning for all? Several books in one volume? Or TJ? <laughs> Didn't come in time. Full question, no conferring, Faye and Emma. What O is Latin, meaning for all? Several books in one volume, or a repeat of the whole week's soap episodes in one program. Emma. Omnibus. Omnibus is right, yes. <laughs> so we're in the first game of three with Faye and Emma at five hexagons and TJ with two. We'll have to end the show there. Join us next time to see how they get on. Bye bye. <laughs>the neighbours round and play along with friends like these then mr barrymore's got a gold rush on it strike it rich and later there's a tna catch-up get ready to pull angry faces with impact wrestling